we're doing this new segment. It's called Ana, llévame contigo, and that means Ana, take me with you. So I have to tell you that. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Holidays! Welcome to a special edition of the Anna Show. We are in North Ridgeville in probably one of the most beautiful Christmas lights displays we will ever see in our lives. This is such an incredible sight. The owner has been doing this for more than 30 years and he just keeps adding on and on and on and it's Bob. Thank Hi. Hi, it's so nice to meet <laughs> nice you. Nice to meet you. What a gift, thank you for the gift. Y you're welcome. So tell me about your display. You've got so many things here. Yeah, just Goodness. many years of collecting. Um, <laughs> collecting a lot of things? Yeah, chasing the um, after season sales. Wow. Yeah. How many lights do you have here? I really could not tell you how okay. many lights I have. I talked to Santa. I know my Santa said something. Said, and you know how many lights he has here? How many lights There's does he have? There's 1,382,632. Oh my goodness. And if you don't believe Santa Claus, I believe you. you have to count them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so how long does it take you to, to put these lights up? I started in mid-September. Okay. And I'm working on it all the way till past Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, wow. even though my goal is Thanksgiving. So, Alrighty. so what do you do for a living that you can work on this from September? To well, I I do landscaping. So you have some time off. Well, no. When I'm setting up, I'm working and doing this and sleeping. This is very nice. I've never seen anything like this when I was a kid. <laughs> so, yeah, something like this is very nice for little kids to be able to see the lights, see Santa Claus and the music. Getting the Christmas spirit with the parents. That's right. <laughs> Get away from all the hustle and bustle and that's, shopping. That's it. That's it. Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me how this display makes you feel. Excited, happy, warm, um, just pleasantly to Cheerful. see it. Cheerful. Just to see this. It is you know? amazing, isn't it? And all the work that he puts in. He says he starts in September and uh, he's got the ability to do all this stuff. And it's nice that he opens it up to the public. What does Santa want for Christmas? Uh, Santa's got every busy night on Christmas Eve. Him and Mrs. Claus are going to take a little time off. You're going to, get the, you're going to go to the Caribbean, maybe? Oh, I have all my Okay. <laughs> I've seen a lot of displays, but this is like, and I mean, every display, even if it's simple, it's beautiful, right? Yes. This mm -hmm. is this is like huge. Yes. Like, <laughs> like what what possessed you to do this? It just keeps getting <laughs> bigger possessed. every year, and that's you know that's my goal. You know, is to do what I did last year and then some. And why is that? It's just I have to better every year. You know, Get I the have better Christmas. Better the show, the lights. Merry Christmas. You know, when you see the kids and the adults come up the driveway with their, you know, the excitement that they have. You know, it's amazing. You know. That's your gift. And yes, it's my Merry gift. Christmas. And then Santa being here is a gift to me because he just comes and he helps me out. Elizabeth Image Unisex Salon, where looking good is understood. Cleveland's first Hispanic female barber entrepreneur, and she does my hair every week. Her team does hair, updos, eyebrows, pedicures, and will do your makeup for that special occasion. Elizabeth Image Unisex Salon, located at 4355 Ridge Road in Brooklyn, Ohio. You can contact her and her staff at 216-961-4441, elizabethimage.com. Hi, my name is Amparo Vega. I'm the owner and founder of Original Cleveland Watch Company. 
If you're a nonprofit or a high school looking for a unique way to fundraise, I can make you lots of money. Give me a call. The time is right to earn hundreds, even thousands of dollars for your fundraiser and show your school spirit. You can make up to $12 profit per watch and showcase your business or non for profit. Call now, Original Cleveland Watch Company at 216 905 3715. La Mexicana, you can grocery shop and eat authentic Mexican food for lunch or dinner. And on Saturday morning, they have the best tamales anywhere in the country. Enjoy their fresh bakery, bread rolls for 40 cents, only 60 cents for donuts, Mexican leclairs, cookies, and chocolate treats, and they have great prices on meat and exotic vegetables. Visit La Mexicana located on 170 East Washington Street in Painesville, La Mexicana, su tienda para todo. I tell everybody about this place, La Mexicana. We are at Julia de Burgos Cultural Center in the heart of Cleveland, Ohio. Today they are welcoming more than 98 families that have come here from Puerto Rico because of Hurricane Maria. These are all the families here. As you can see, they're very excited. They got their Puerto Rican flag up. We're here to welcome them with open arms. I've heard Santa Claus has a present for each child that came to this event today. Julia de Burgos Cultural Center, along with leaders from the community, organized and became stronger together for a night of celebration to embrace the families that just moved here from Puerto Rico. Perdimos la casa, la casa de la esquina, pues se fue todo el techo y la, y la funitura adentro, todo se perdió todo. Fue y todo quedó totalmente destruido. Eh, ya tiene trabajo. Eh. Ya llenado, ya llenado y eso, pero todavía no tengo... Estamos poder. en el proceso de buscar el empleo, las ayudas ¿verdad? que Seguro. se necesitan para poder salir adelante. ¿Y crees que se quedan, no se van para la isla? Yo entiendo que me quedo un tiempo, sí, porque la isla quedó bien destruida y de verdad que... Ayuda, ayuda allí, ayuda a mi maíz, mi maíz se departió la casa de cemento, se departió por la mitad y, y de cemento se partió por la mitad y no... ¿Su casa es de cemento y se partió por la, por la mitad? Ay, pues bienvenido, welcome, 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 welcome. Dios lo bendiga, no se preocupe que todo le va a salir bien. Dios es grande. This event represents community, it represents tradition, it represents culture, um, and it is a wonderful time to uh, coalesce with the community. And the folks coming from Puerto Rico, and we want to make sure we provide the best possible health care we can. And we want you to know that you're welcome at the Cleveland Clinic, and you're welcome at Lutheran Hospital, and anything we can do, um, we, will, we will feel privileged to do it. I'm here to welcome with open arms the wonderful newcomers to Cleveland from Puerto Rico, and to show the support of the Cleveland Foundation and all the other major institutions in town to the new citizens of Cleveland. They're bringing so much strength and beauty to our community. They're such an asset. We're happy to have them. We're sad why they came, and we're sad for Puerto Rico, but we're feeling such joy to have them here. Bienvenidos a Caribe. Welcome to Caribe Beza. Aquí estamos ubicados en el mismo lugar, la 2906 Fulton Road. Here we have served two of our most popular platters. They're both $10 with a rice, a meat, a side. Sandwich cubano, sandwich de pernil, sandwich de jamón y queso. La gente puede ordenar para fiestas, para bodas, para cumpleaños. You can feel the love from just all of our customers here and how much they support us. Shelly makes jewelry for me. You can contact her at 216-815-7600 or go to her website at www.secretplacemodstyle.shop. Accessories provided by Simply Silver, unique fashion jewelry, and more. Peggy Pokorowski at PeggyPokorowski at Yahoo.com. Okay, so it's the holidays, and we're eating all this yummy food, and then we're thinking about our weight and all the fat. 
that we're gaining, and Oof. that's why we are here today with Jamie Brinkus. Yes. Hi, Mick. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. And I see you uh, brought some uh, fat with you oh, here. Oh, this is your fat. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to get rid of this for you easily, easily, easily. With, with three simple exercises, Anna. Three exercises. Okay. Let me put my fat down here. That's exciting. Because oh, you know, as you is. get older, it's, it's it can be very difficult to lose oh, weight. Oh my gosh, it's a lot harder because you know the same amount of calories don't yield the same response in our bodies when we were 20, and what happens is, why that is, is that the muscle tissue is less, okay? So you don't have enough muscle. So what we want to do is rev up the muscle again and get that metabolism through the roof. And okay. we got three exercises that I normally do every day for myself oh. to keep in shape. Because everybody said, well, how do you stay in shape? I'll be 57 in a couple months. Wow. So the bottom line is this. The three exercises first is a push-up, okay. okay? Now, if you're just starting out, and of course, you can go on the wall and do them, mm -hmm. but if you want to do it right on a bench, or a chair, or of mm -hmm. course you can go horizontal all the way down. Mm -hmm. This works your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. But the fact is, I do 20 a day. So 20 times a whole month is 600 push-ups for right. the month. And of course, of course, you can do it on the wall is fine. So that's all right. You got to start somewhere. Okay. And then what I do is I do a squat. Okay. And you can just take a chair like this, and at home, mm -hmm. you just want to sit your buns on the seat. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go too low and okay. back up. Okay. Okay. You need to do 20 of those which gives you 600 for the month again, okay? So you gotta start somewhere, so, just sitting in a seat. So what if you have an injury and squats are hard? You have to do is quarter squats. Okay. So you don't have to go all the way down. You just wanna do slight bends okay. until, because again, and you wanna do it where the knees are lined up over the toes, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And just so, because I will tell you, knees sometimes have a problem with the knees, yeah. but I will tell you this, squats are singly the best exercise for your legs. But you gotta be consistent, because consistency beats intensity any day of the week. You know, we're trying to put the boom back to boomers and that's the thing is we want them to get out you know right. if you rest you rust right. and that's I can tell you that and that's what happens when we get older we don't like to move you know and the first thing that gets pushed aside is health and fitness and I'm saying you know what give us a few minutes here a few minutes there exercise accumulative it all adds up now do you think there are people who exercise almost every day and they just haven't revved it up enough where well, they're not sweating and they're not burning any calories you know, because I've done that sure more isn't better, better is better. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you this, as we age, the most important thing you have to do is put on lean muscle tissue. That burns a lot of calories, you're getting the afterburn of the muscle tissue, and that's what keeps us people, as their baby boomers, lean. It's not the cardio, it's the resistance training. So that's what you have to do, without a question of a doubt. And then when I like to finish up, you know everyone wants a slimmer, trimmer, tighter waistline? Uh -huh. You gotta work the abs. And what I do is a, a plank. And you can do it right at home. You don't have to go on the ground to do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it right here. You just want to hold it, mm -hmm. okay? Just hold that, and that's how you first start, okay? Now you're just working your abs right here okay. to give you a slimmer, trimmer, tighter waistline. Okay. And of course, as we progress, of course you want to get all the way down and just hold it here, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Anna, what I do is I do it for a full minute. Okay. I do it for a minute. So you do this every day, that's 30 minutes of ab exercises for the whole month. And I gotta tell you, it works without a doubt. But your best piece of fitness equipment is always your fork and spoon. That's right. <laughs> you gotta eat right too. Now, do you, I know that we tend to supersize it when we go through the drive through yes. but I think we supersize it in our own homes. Oh we my eat gosh. too much, don't you think? Without a doubt, and there's no doubt. So you know, the most important element is portion control. Mm -hmm. So think about this, you know, you've got lean proteins, right? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? It's three ounces, it fits in the size of a deck of cards, okay? The mm -hmm. palm. That's, so let's get handy here. Three ounces fits in the palm of your hand, right. okay? Now what about pastas and rice and potatoes, you know, the starches, right? Everybody says, well, geez, how much should we have? The size of your fist. That's mm -hmm. a single serving size. The size. When's the last time you went to an Italian restaurant and they served you just that? Mm -mm. You'd probably get up and walk out, right? We want bang for our buck. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do is right there, okay? And then as many vegetables as you want. Truly, that's the case. I tell people to eat clean, lean, and green. Eat lean protein, eat clean so you're not having all the, the, the cookies, the candies, the sweets, okay? Because you don't have to burn those off then. Right. And of course, green, anything green on your plate, I don't care, any vegetable is great. It gives you more, you know, it, it fills you up and not out. It's so important. And so, this isn't your first rodeo. You've been doing this no. for 30 years. Oh, 30 years. Tell us a little yes. bit about your success. Well, you know, uh, I, I guess the biggest success we had was eight minute abs a few years ago. And, you know, 20 years ago, you know, we all live hurried, hectic lifestyles, and the first thing that gets pushed aside is health and 
wellness and fitness. <clears throat> so we said, you know what? Let's buck the system and let's put a, a, a time-oriented program. And that's what we did. But you know, here in 2017, soon to be 2018, it's the same. We all live very different lifestyles. So the same principle is, is, is the idea of doing minutes here, minutes there. And eight minutes was the key for us. And it put us on the map. And I've been certified through the American College of Sports Medicine uh, since 1988. So I've been doing this a while. And I will just tell you this, that lean people lead lean lives. And it's their habits which make them lean. Cooking, eating, shopping, fitness, but even more importantly, thinking habits. We've got to think like a lean person. And that's what we do. And, and I've got to tell you, we've helped millions of people lose millions of inches and pounds. And we're going to continue to do that all through the New Year's. So it's pretty exciting. That's great. And you have a website. We so do. So for people who, have, who want support. Yep. MyEGW.com. All right. Yep. So when they go there, what are they going to find? They're going to find programs that I've done. And I've, we've done a lot now. We've got a lot of content. But it's focused on, of course, exercises, you know, recipes, menus. All good stuff, but really focusing on, like I said, putting the boom back into boomers. And that's what we're trying to do because, you know, there's not a lot of programs for us out there. We all want the same thing. We want to look younger. We want to live longer. We want to feel better. And this is programmed right for them because I'm one of them. And okay. I know exactly what they need. <laughs> okay, so Jaime, so a lot of the Hispanics yes. love the fried food. Yeah, you know. It's, How do you get around it? You know what? Those How are do you called, tell a Puerto Rican that you can't <laughs> fry something? Those are called so what days, all right? So what? But so those many are, of those days. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have more than all. You got you can't have already so what days. You can only have a few. But right. the thing is, you know, those kind of days are gonna happen during the holidays. Just pick it up the next meal, the next day, the next week, and you'll be fine. It all averages out, really, truly. It's not bad. But but I will say this: if you can't out-train a poor diet. Okay, there's not enough hours in the day. Okay, so that's that's the key. So again, eat clean, lean, and green. You're going to be fine. Focus on on getting muscle tissue as opposed to even doing cardio. Even though that's great to do cardio, but as you age, muscle tissue is the key. So then you can eat, uh, you know, not not as good as you'd like and still succeed. Wonderful. Well, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much, Anna. It's thank a pleasure. You. It was really. a pleasure you too, too for me. Hi, too. I'm Jamie Brinkus. You may remember me as the guy who invented eight-minute abs. Concept that unleashed an explosion of time sensitive solutions to help you and countless others achieve your fitness goals in a very busy world. Now, starting now, I'm joining forces with Evergreen Wellness. That's right, this time I'm here to put the boom back into baby boomers. Now I'm proud to be part of Evergreen Wellness, and now you can be too. This is Matt Galini with Mentor iPhone Repair. We fix iPhones, iPads, and iPods. Most repairs are done in 15 minutes or less. If you're looking for a case for your brand new iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, we have plenty to choose from. We also have pre-owned devices at a great price. We can protect any iPhone model you have, even with the 5s and the 6s and the 6 Pluses. Need to get a grip? How about a pop socket? We also have a variety of iPad cases as well. I'm Matt Galini. Come and see my new store across from Great Lakes Mall. Buenos dias. We have mm -hmm. a celebrity in the house helping me this morning. And that is somebody is, else here. No, it's <laughs> Russ Mitchell. Thank you so much for joining us. And it's great to see you. Thanks for having me here today. Here we're going to do some fun stuff. Yes, we're going to mm. do some coquito, which is a Puerto Rican rum drink. Okay. Um, my dad used to make it all the time. Okay. And I confess that I've never, I've never made it. All right. All right. But I watched him for years make it. It sounds like fun. It was so funny when you sent me a note and told me you were doing this. She uh -huh. was so nice. She said, is it okay if we use real rum? I go, yeah. Uh, of course we're going to use real rum. Well, some people, yes. actually there's some people, you know, because of their religion of or it was, very, it was very nice of you to ask, Thank but trust you. me, we're all good. And I realized <laughs> I didn't know there is some, such a thing as imitation rum. Oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah, so okay. it makes it taste. This is the real stuff though, right? That is the real all right. stuff. Okay. All right, so this is very basic. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out, you can put um, coconut milk, okay. leche de coco. Okay. This is my new Vitamix. This Great. Is my this is vitamin. nice. Oh, wow. It's very smart. This is coconut milk we're doing right here? Yep. Okay. And then this is cream of coconut. All right. All right, I thought it'd be best if you did it, because if I did it, it might look like I love Lucy show. <laughs> <laughs> well, this could look worse than Lucy. I don't, uh, you've never seen me do this, so oh, we'll give go. it a shot. Okay, yeah. one of those? Okay, yeah, great. I think Thank that'll you. work really well. Thank you. So how long have you been at the station now? I've been here for six years. Oh my goodness. Um, it's um, been a wonderful experience. It mm -hmm. continues to, to be a wonderful experience and I get to you know, meet new folks uh, still like, like yourself um, and, and have fun like this. this is a, First for me, I've never done a cooking segment here. I used to do them all the time, my old job, but okay. I haven't done one here yet, so this is going to be fun. Awesome. And this is um, sweetened condensed milk. Okay. So more sugar. All right. More sweets, more uh, yummies. All right. 
It's a nice machine here. Yeah, yeah okay. so my dad really didn't drink, so what he would do is he would make this as a gift for, for people who would come over. Okay. So he would have like five or ten of them. Oh. All right. So that was their present. So when they went home. Now, is this a Christmas Day drink, Christmas Eve drink, or just did, did, <laughs> whenever it's well, they start whenever partying. It's ready. They start partying, partying on November Thanksgiving Day. Okay. So Thanksgiving Day till January 6th, they find a reason right. to party. All right. And the funny thing is that here's a vanilla. Just you can just eye how, it. How much do I put in this? I don't know. Maybe two capfuls. We'll try that. Okay. And um, so he would. He really wasn't a drinker. Mm -hmm. But if he took a drink. We couldn't find him, and he would be asleep. He was ah, such a light drinker. I see. I yeah, see. So very sweet. I see. But I love that though. After Thanksgiving, you know, that's it's on. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Have you ever heard of Las Barrandas? I have not. It's, no. It's Christmas caroling. That's how Puerto Ricans Christmas carol. Okay. And it's uh, traditional. This is um, evaporated milk. All right. So it's traditional Christmas caroling. It's. Um, it's already open there. Yeah. Okay. You can just pour it All right. So it's a little bit of merengue and salsa, so you mm. get the rhythm in there. Nice. So you show up at uh, people's homes as a surprise. So you, uh, you pick two or three friends or family members, all right. and you show up with like 10 or 15 people okay. with guitars and nice. maracas, and uh, and so you surprise them, and you're doing that till about 2 a.m. Oh, that sounds like fun. It is that a lot of fun. That sounds fantastic. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, it's part of our tradition. I'm so glad that some of there's a little bit of like electricity in Puerto Rico now. Yeah, yeah. Thank uh, God. Things are. I talked to a friend of mine who lives there. And he said things are getting better slowly. Absolutely. Which which is great. But what a, what a devastating experience for I all know, there. I know. And I'm so happy that so many are moving up here. So many folks from Puerto Rico are moving here. Yeah, we're about 200 families. Yeah, coming. yeah, that's so excellent. We, that's we excellent. welcome them. Yes, welcome to Northeast Ohio. Yeah, they're very they're they're very strong, very yeah. resilient people. Yeah, they're wonderful. So all right, so we're just gonna eye this. Okay. Actually, no, it's half a, half of this. Half of that? Yeah. That's a lot. I know. Okay. There we go. It's fine. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So it's kind of like an eggnog. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it gets really thick. Mm -hmm. You can pour the Bacardi. Okay. And how much Bacardi do I put? I don't know. You just Oh, I don't know. It. <laughs> just splash it in. I love that. Okay. You, you tell me when to stop. Right. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Yep. Is it more? Yeah. I think some more. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. It smells good. I think a little bit more. Think a little bit more. Wow. Okay. That's. I mean, it's a big blender. It's not a regular. Okay. Yeah, listen. Okay. All right. My husband, who's holding You're, the camera, keeps going like this. He's going. This. He's going like this. But he wasn't at the house, the Puerto oh. Rican household, right. where I saw my dad do this for well, years. Yes, so exactly. I'm technically kind of like an expert. All right. All right. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's good. All right. All righty. Peace, money, and love. Ah, uh, gracias. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Gracias. Oh my God, that's delicious. It needs more rum. You know what? It could probably, you, you know, no, no, really, don't listen don't to this guy okay. anymore. Yeah. Yeah, right. No, really. It probably could, but it's, but it's, it's nice. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. And that was very easy. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, okay. Now I'm starting to taste it. It's very good. It's there. Yeah, oh. it's still, I love this. Wow. I know. Well, well, thank you so much for having me today. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming out. We so appreciate it. Yeah, sure. Well, anytime you want to make any sort of uh, anything with rum or anything else in it, you, you know who to call, okay? All you right. know where I am. Right over Come visit us at Terrell. Home of the Mexican all-you-can-eat buffet for only $8.99, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. They have daily drink specials and unique Mexican dishes. Bring your family, friends, and clients to their party room. A minimum of 15 people, $11.99 per person. Authentic and exotic food, sure to please anyone's taste buds. The tasty food keeps customers coming back for more. At Rodale, 6900 Center Street, Menor, Ohio. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! We are in North Ridgeville and probably one of the most beautiful Christmas light displays I have ever seen. And we are here with the owner here who have been, has been doing this for more than 30 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's so unbelievably awesome. Thank you. <laughs> and I know awesome is sometimes a word that's overused, yes. but I don't think in this case it is. Okay. Thank you. That makes me feel so good. <laughs> so this is his backyard. Okay. So can you give us a tour of your backyard? Well, this stuff's all pretty much so new pretty. this year. Really? This is all new? You didn't have this last year? Yes, I, I okay. added this walkway uh -huh. last year. And then... Oh so people can come over here too and hang out? Yes, and I have heaters, oh the fire goodness. going. Um, a lot this of people 
get a kick out of my fish tank. So you don't mind people coming out nope. and just hanging out? Nope. What a lovely person, <laughs> what a lovely family to share yeah. your beautiful decorations mm -hmm. and your lights. Now Santa was telling me you have over a million lights, which mm -hmm. I probably believe. Yeah. Because we'll show the viewers at home what you have out the front. Now how many people do you think come and visit every year? Um, oh <laughs> if I had to guess, um, I mean, you're talking probably a thousand a weekend. A thousand a weekend. Yeah. And you don't charge. No. So no. people can come out. Yes. And you have Santa. I have Santa here on the weekends. I dedicate myself out here every night in December. Just welcome my guests, you know. That's wonderful. Yeah. All right, so we just showed you the outside of the house here in North Ridgeville, Bob and Letty's house. And then we have a special preview of the house inside. And Bob said that he had maybe 30 trees in here. Is that true, Letty? It's probably close. It, uh, Give us a tour. We've counted them in a while, so um, he has. We this, have, is, this is your granddaughter. We have cutie. the granddaughters who. Oh, look at that. Ava and Aspen. Our little Minnie and Mickey's. So we have the village. We have the candy cane tree. Of course, no Christmas display is complete without the nutcrackers. We have the fiber optic tree. A butterfly tree. Oh, you have like a mini. Santa and his reindeer. Mm -hmm. All of our stockings ready. We have the traditional. These are probably some of our oldest. The Disney. Um, like Disney you can't Mickey's. even find these actual anymore. We have the Disney, Mickey, and Minnie tree. And um, we've got Go Browns, always the hopeful. traditional. <laughs> Browns, die hard, love the home team. Us too, us too. And then we have Ohio State. Oh my God. Go Cavs. We have the Cavs oh, that is with so Mr. Neat. LeBron James oh, it's holding the championship cool. trophy. Oh my goodness. Whoop, whoop. And we have the championship <laughs> trophy ornament. Oh my goodness. We have the Indians. Go Tribe. Woohoo. <laughs> this year, it's going to be our year. Hi. This is the reason we do it right here. Hi. It's this card right here. This card says, just wanted to send a thank you note. Last night I brought my six-year-old daughter to see your light display, I'm gonna cry. She was in complete awe. She completely, she immediately saw Santa Claus and asked me if it was the real one. She can tell the difference between the helpers and the real Santa, who she believes to be at the Great Northern Mall. After talking to Santa, she told me, Mom, that's the real Santa, and he's probably here because of all the lights. So for the Spanish phrase of the day, we're going to ask Santa what he wants to learn how to say in Spanish. Okay. So what would you like to learn? I would like to, to learn how to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, so you would say Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Y Prospero. Y prospero. Año. Año. Nuevo. Nuevo. Yes, very Happy good. Happy New Year.